Hi, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a certain group of medications that can cause some pretty serious side effects with vision. But before I do, let's tell you how you can connect with us. If you're local, call me at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, that's okay. Go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. All right, on that website, you can do all kinds of things. You can take a quiz. You can read about what we do in the office. You can read success stories. You can also schedule a consultation. So now, before we kind of like delve into all of the things, I'm not going to list every medication out there. I'm going to concentrate on a couple few. And in addition, this is just a disclaimer that I'm not telling everyone they need to go off of these medications. There certainly are cases in which these medicines are warranted. However, I had two instances today that brought to light a reason why I should bring this up and talk about it in video. First off was that I consulted with a patient who has been on a medication for bipolar disorder uh, for many, many years, 30 plus years. And this particular individual had in the last year switched medications to something completely different. So now he's on two different medicines that he hadn't been on before. And it's been a year, but he's developed this condition called nystagmus. If you're not familiar with it, I do have a lot of other videos. We'll probably put something around in here where you can <laughs> locate one of those videos. Hint, hint to my people who do all of the cool stuff with my videos. Maybe put one here. Um, and so what happens is, is that in the stagmas, this means that an eye is moving or wobbling around and it's not staying consistently stable. So if that eye is moving around and that's just one eye, but you've got two eyes that are moving around, you can have downbeat nystagmus. You can have some that go side to side. There are some that kind of go in like almost a circular type of emotion. There's a lot of different types of nystagmus. But if all of a sudden you develop this out of the blue without a head injury, and the MRI and the CAT scan comes back normal and there's no brain tumor, praise God, then what on earth caused this to happen? Well, take a look in your medicine cabinet. Make sure that the medications that you're on, just go to little Google like I did today as we were sitting on our consultation. I said, I already know about this because I have lots of patients, but this one's a newer medicine. Let me just verify what I believe to be the case. I got on Google and you know, that little AI stuff is so awesome at times. Sometimes maybe not so awesome, but most of the time. So in this particular case, what it provided me with was, yes, this medication is has common side effects, which are things like nystagmus, that moving eye, or muscle movement conditions or problems, which could mean, yes, nystagmus is one of those. So this, in this particular case, I was able to consult with this patient and say, yes, you're right. He felt it was his medication, his doctor did not. And I say, yeah, probably it's the case because I consult with people about this all the time. So what we do, what do we recommend? Well, he himself was like, I think it's this one particular medication. These are medications for mood alteration, like maybe a person has anxiety or depression. Uh, maybe they are bipolar. Maybe there's um, something else going on. Maybe their person has um, schizophrenia or um, something else that is a mental health uh, situation, which would maybe require medication. What you want to look at is a lot of those medications can potentially have visual side effects. Blurring of eyesight, double vision, nystagmus, um, and there are other things that it can cause. Most of the time, we don't tend to see that sort of stuff happen. However, I would tell you for us and a pretty large percentage of the population of patients who contact our clinic, they do have issues with a lot of these visual conditions. And what do we recommend? Well, I can't just tell a person go cold turkey off of that medication. Most of the time they need to titrate down off of that medication and slowly get to the point where they can go off of it. But then what do they do about whatever condition they were taking it for in the first place? And they usually go to another medication. So we have to be careful in how we manage these patients. In his case, 
the person I consulted with had taken himself off of it altogether a couple days prior. And he was already noticing his dizziness and the movement of the eyes was slowing down and going back to more normalcy. So that was a good thing. He kind of tried it all on his own without me telling him he needed to do that. Um, in other instances, what we have to do is see if we can go to a lower doses of medication. Um, maybe what we do is switch to a completely different medicine altogether. Maybe what we do is we look at the root cause of whatever is happening, like depression or anxiety, and try to treat like the root cause. Or find a natural substitute that might not have as many visual problems that could pop up or crop up after taking it. So some sort of a natural supplement. So I got off the consultation. After I answer the question, yes, this happens a lot more frequently than what you actually realize and what most doctors realize, this is true. And I went to go email this individual just to follow up about what we had discussed during our consultation. And the very first email on the top was someone who reached out to me from another country who said, you know, desperately, so in desperation, please, please, please help me. I don't think that this is just happening out of nowhere, but they started a medication for OCD. Their doctor doesn't believe them, but they're having double vision and all of these visual complaints, including, you guessed it, nystagmus. So right away, that's kind of a secondary confirmation as I just finished a consultation about this and I hop on and here's one in email. And I thought, ah, I really need to talk about this topic today in video. So many times doctors don't think like, oh, that's like, you know, one in bazillion that that happens. Well, not really. We actually see a lot of visual complaints happen much more frequently, but we tend to play it off on something else. Maybe the glasses are wrong. Maybe this is wrong. Maybe I'm too stressed. Maybe I've got dry eye. Those may all be the case. However, we always wanna look back to those medications, especially if they're newer, most doctors will think that if your symptoms pop up within the first couple of weeks or a month of using it, yes, maybe it's the medicine, but they usually tend to think it's unlikely if you've been on that medicine for a year. But in the case of these types of medications, it's super common that this will pop up even a year or two years down the road because it's like your body's like so used to it and maybe it's built up almost like a toxic level of reaction to it. And so these things can pop up down the road. So if you're wondering, you know, maybe we'll just hop on that little Google and see what Google AI will tell you about your medication. Specifically look for things like your medication and nystagmus, your medication and double vision, and you'll typically get answers. And then you can go back to your healthcare practitioner and see if there's something else that you can do or maybe you choose to go the naturopathic and functional medicine way and see, well, maybe there's something that you can do totally different and to get out of the realm of those medicines that can cause a lot of problems for some patients. Now, if this was helpful for you, um, certainly hit the like button, definitely subscribe to our channel. If you want to reach out to us again, call us at 618-288-1489. You can also go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. And if you feel like, hey, this is my aunt, so-and-so or you know my grandpa will pass this video on to them because um, many times this stuff is not always talked about and many patients feel a little crazy even for just kind of feeling like they think it's related to their medication but their doctor says no way and so this can just be a confirmation that no you know it's not really something that's all in their head this does really truly occur for a lot of patients um, very regularly and it's something that they need to look at and discuss with their practitioner about what can they do differently thank you